That's why we train. We can make moves like that. Well, good morning from Long Beach, California. It is IMSA race day today. It is 20 after six in the morning. Um, just got dressed for the day, um, waiting on Florent and Jamie, who are just uh, both in the shower right now. And once they're ready to go, we're gonna head into the track, go to uh, actually the Honda Hospitality, have some breakfast, and uh, get our day started. It's actually a fairly laid back day for me. I'm just shooting IMSA really today. It's all I have to shoot to do some technical content um, in the paddock with one of my teams, I shoot the autograph session, and then we have basically the race, which I think is at like two o'clock or 2.10 or something. So shouldn't be that difficult of a day. We had practice and qualifying, everything yesterday, two practice sessions and a qualifying. I also shot some form of the drift, so I'll look at some of the footage from that, which was uh, really cool. So yeah, looking forward to a pretty good day here in Long Beach. Race should be over, it's only a 100 minute race. Should be over around four-ish, a little before four. And uh, post edits, we might be out of here in a decent hour, go get some nice dinner and, uh, yeah, I think in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that difficult of a race day. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Clout the F1 cars with me. I mean, I don't really need to clout the F1 cars, but like I could, I don't know, we'll see. I want breakfast. That's my main thing right now. I'm very hungry. So we've got Jamie, we've got Florent, and we're gonna go to the track now. So it's about a 12 minute walk through a dodgy neighborhood, but you know, we'll be fine. We're in a, we're in a group. <laughs> Beyond that, they can't really like screw around too much with the... Uh, so all fueled up, we've had our breakfast. Now uh, we're gonna go check out some of the historic F1 cars which will be staging just over here. They're gonna run some laps. So we wanna go trackside and check that out because how often are you gonna see uh, historic F1 cars? Absolutely insane. Jamie, that was insane. It's always good. I love this story. Oh my god. That's how race cars should sound. If you think current F1 cars sound good compared to that, yeah. My god. That was amazing. I really recommend checking out some historic events if you love racing. And if you want to get more involved in doing what I do as a racing videographer or you like photography, historic events are a great place to go to get up close to cars, get cool pictures. And a lot of the time, the smaller, more regional historic events are really easy to get credentials for. Obviously not something like Goodwood or Ferrari Calanti, but some of the smaller ones, like there's a historic racing series in Canada near me, that's actually pretty easy to get credentials for. So it's something that I would highly recommend doing. It's a great option for you if you're an amateur and you want to consider getting into this professionally. I'm gonna head back to the media center now, do some editing of a few things from yesterday, and then get prepped uh, for a fairly, not a super long day, but we've got autograph session, tech talks and stuff, and then uh, on to the IMSA race. down in the IMSA paddock now did some editing and just did some tech talk shooting with uh, one of my clients and now we're just hanging out uh, back here by the Porta Johns. No, uh, lots of uh, fans in the paddock here starting to get uh, ready for the autograph session which is coming up shortly. The thing I love about IMSA races is that 
every ticket that you buy gets you access to the paddock. You buy a regular ticket and you can walk through the paddock just like this, see the cars up close, run into the drivers. Jordan Taylor's over here right now. Doing a meet and greet, hanging out with people, signing autographs. So it's really cool to just get out here on a regular ticket and walk through the paddock. So I highly recommend going to an IMSA race if you want to get up close to cars, meet drivers. If you have kids, it's incredible. Like your kid doesn't know if they're meeting a Formula One driver or a sports car driver, but you're going to be father of the year, mother of the year, if you bring your kid out and they get to meet a real life race car driver. They let kids sit in the cars, they let people get right up next to them and take photos. It's an incredible event with incredible access. IMSA races are the best fan events you can ever go to in motorsport. I highly recommend it. So go to IMSA.com if you want to go to a race and check out the schedule and there's ticket links on the schedule and you can go to pretty much any of the IMSA races. They're all incredible. They're a great time. Like I said, I love being part of this championship. It's amazing. We're just finishing up in the paddock now. It's been a few minutes uh, just shooting some establishing shots and some fan stuff to use in an edit for later today. And uh, other than that, I'm feeling pretty good going into the race this afternoon. I think I have most things that I need. And I am here tomorrow. Uh, the edit's not due until Monday. So I am here tomorrow. I can grab a few things and uh, add them if I need to, any sort of fan shots or establishing shots. But it's been a good day so far. Sun's out, weather's temperatures picked up. Although for me, Canada, you know, uh, anything decently warm is great. So it's nice, but yeah, looking forward to uh, the race this afternoon. I'm on my way to my starting spot for the IMSA race. I'm gonna go somewhere I've never been before, which is down low in turn one. So I'm leaving very early to get there and make sure that I can get where I need to be so I don't take a wrong turn or I also want to have extra time in case I get there and it doesn't look very good. Like it'll be a good shot so I can go somewhere else where I know will be a good shot. So it's all about taking a little bit of extra time. Uh, probably should have scoped it out earlier but didn't have time so we're just going to head down now and uh, hopefully it'll look good. I think it'll be unique. Still got the shot, so it was good. But we're gonna head back to the media center, do a bit of editing, and then should pretty much be done. I did briefly stop there and shoot uh, one or two laps of the super trucks. It's always fun to see stadium super trucks. I was a big Robbie Jordan fan uh, when I first started watching uh, NASCAR, so cool to see that he's still around doing off road stuff. So they're always a big draw at these races. People love staying to watch the super trucks, uh, the jumpy trucks, as people call them. So we'll head back now, get some editing done, and then. Uh, might sneak out again tonight and shoot some more for me at the drift. We're going to uh, 
do a little extracurricular now and uh, shoot some Formula Drift, which I'm really excited for. I uh, only get to see Formula Drift once a year, which is here in Long Beach, so really looking forward to uh, getting some shots of that. Gang's all here. We're going to shoot Formula Drift now. Very stoked. Those Everybody things. knows Jamie, but nobody knows Florent. No, no one knows me. So explain who you are. I'm just a French boy lost in the US. There you go. That's it. Yeah. I figured we could practice French because I speak some French, but he's too too good at French. I'll just get laughed at. So look at this light, though. This is going to be amazing. He's so excited. I am. The first drifting session of my life at sunset. Well, hello everyone. You probably noticed that I'm actually not in Long Beach. I'm in my very cluttered office actually editing the vlog right now. Look at that. Because I forgot to shoot an outro in Long Beach. But this is as good a place as any to do an outro. So thank you so much for watching the vlog. If you want to follow me on social media, the links are here. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Vero, even though nobody uses Vero, uh, Strava, if you want to see my run data where I run really slow, wherever you can follow me on all of those social medias. And I also want to take a moment to thank Lexar. Now this video is not sponsored by Lexar, but they actually sent me these CF Express A Gold Series cards for free and a card reader just to try out at Long Beach to see how I like them. I also use them at Monza and Spa. And I can honestly say my honest opinion, these are the best memory cards on the market today and the best ones that I have ever used. The transfer speed is insane and the amount of space you can fit on here. This one's 160 gigs. The other one is 320. I had two cards for the weekend and never needed to delete anything off those cards. I could keep everything on there as an extra backup the whole weekend. So if you're looking for professional quality memory cards, I highly recommend checking out the Lexar Gold Series. Again, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end and we will see you in the next one.